guys how's everyone doing today um, so I wanted to hop on here and film a video for you guys I wanted to share the cons to living bus life so in the previous videos I've said how much we love our bus and we truly 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 do love our bus um, but there are some things that go along with that that you have to do um, kind of like chores I guess that you typically wouldn't have to do if you lived in a regular home um, so kind of like the behind the scenes, not so perfect, Instagram um, worthy things that you have to do in order to maintain bus life. So these are um, in no particular order, I just jotted them down. So the first thing I have down is gassing our generators two times a day. So when we aren't hooked up to shore power, we have our generators that we use and that's it's great it's been working really really wonderful um, but one of the cons to having generators is you do have to fill them up um, our generator the one that we use it's the Honda suitcase we have two of those they're both 2200s for a total of 4400 watts of power we only use one and right now we're only using it and we're using it on eco mode so if you gas it up and you fill it completely full it'll last you about 12 hours so we've been filling them up two times a day, usually when we wake up in the morning and then usually right before we go to bed at night. Second thing is filling up our pellet stove two times a day. Right now we're in Savannah, Georgia, the weather is warm, so we're not running the pellet stove, but during our travels on the way to Savannah, Georgia, it was cold and we had some temps that were below freezing, well below freezing, and we ran the pellet stove all night. The third one would be everything in the bus has a home so you always want to make sure everything is in its home putting things back into place um, being in such a small space things can look cluttered and messy very very quickly but a pro to that I guess is um, you can clean up the bus in like under 10 minutes if we're both doing it together number four I have written down is trying to find places to park so we do a lot of free camping because we're trying to you know do this as frugal as possible um, so we do do a lot of free camping there's a couple apps that I really really love and I use a lot uh, the first one is I overlander I always check that app very first um, it's gave us some really awesome campsites and then also all stays and then the ultimate campgrounds app those are the three top apps that I use the most when we're finding a place to stay but that can be kind of a stressful aspect of bus life is planning out like your next leg of the trip like where you're gonna go where you're gonna stay um, can the bus you know get into that parking space can we maneuver the roads make all the turns um, that that can be a stressful aspect of bus life also towing our car behind us um, on a car dolly you can't back up I mean you can a little bit but you have to be very careful so we always have to be aware of that, like we can't turn into a place and just back up really easily if it's the wrong turn or something like that. So we always have to plan that out and be aware of it and make sure that our bus can fit to where we're turning into and we can easily just kind of drive and turn around our big long bus and car dolly. Number five on our list is <laughs> one that people probably don't like to talk about or might not want to hear about. Um, but our composting toilet we have to empty our urine bucket once a day <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if that's just me because I drink a lot of water and I pee a lot and we do have an extra in case we're at a place like if we're at Walmart or something like that and we don't have a place to dump our urine unless we want to go take it into the public bathroom um, we do have an extra lit uh, urine container that we can just swap it out and then there's a lid so you can tie it on there you won't smell anything that's another thing with bus life. You gotta, you gotta check the pee bucket before you pee because we've overflowed it two times, three times now. I've overflowed it twice and Charlie overflowed it once. So I know that sounds really gross. If you don't have a nature's head composting toilet, you might not really understand. Um, but the bucket, the pee bucket does sit in like a little trough so it collects all the urine. So if you do overflow it, there's, it's not really a mess. You just kind of have to we just throw some paper towels in there and let it all soak up and then disinfect and put vinegar in there so it doesn't smell. Um, so it's not 
it's not bad actually uh, I thought overflowing it would be absolutely terrible but nature's head is one step ahead of you and has that little trough to collect the extra pee that does overflow so it's not spilt all over your floor and then you have just urine everywhere so as gross as that sounds it is the truth and if you're thinking about doing bus life you need to know this stuff so that's that's what your life is it's gonna be like with the stool aspect of things we probably change that we're, we're kind of learning and I think we change it about every two weeks for two people six on my list is hanging curtains um, the mainly the curtains in the front of the bus so we have the those insulation reflectix the white curtains if you've seen my previous videos you know which ones I'm talking about um, they're ones that I made and we put those up in the front like driver and passenger window and then the driver window on the side of the bus we put those up every night and then we take them down typically in the day that's our personal choice like we wouldn't have to take them down and put them up that much but to us that's you know it's a chore that we have to do to maintain our bus life and to maintain our happiness seven on my list is sweeping up dog hair each day so if you don't have an animal you won't have this issue we have a black lab and we absolutely absolutely love her but black labs if you don't know any labs they shed a ton like a ton a ton a ton we could i mean make another mia we could probably have made like hundred thousand mias with the amount of fur that we sweep up every day um so that is one thing we have to stay on top of in a small space it will collect and there'll be little Mia dust bunnies you know breezing across the floor and you don't even know where they come from number eight to go along with the sweeping of the dog hair we also have to constantly be thinking of Mia so back before bus life we kind of lived in the middle of nowhere um, you know she had plenty of land to just kind of roam and sniff and do her own thing on and she was totally comfy in her own home um, now we constantly have to be thinking of her needs and making sure that they're met as well. So we constantly have to make sure that, you know, we're giving her enough exercise for the day. If we want to go somewhere, you know, is it dog friendly? Also, if it is not dog friendly, you know, we have to make the decision if we should leave her in the bus and for how long should we leave her in the bus for? Um, and just things like that because we want her to be happy and to enjoy this experience as well, which we are very 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 proud of her she has done absolutely amazing in the bus way better than we could have ever thought or expected um, she loves traveling uh, driving in the bus she just lays in her bed and sleeps most of the time and then once we get to the stopping point she's the first person at the steps of the bus waiting to be let out so she can sniff around and see where she's at and experience all the new things Another thing that we have to think about now, we haven't been using our water a lot lately. Um, we're still working out the plumbing. We finally ran water through it actually just the other day. And we did take our very, very first showers in the bus and it, they were absolutely amazing. The shower was perfect. The size was great. Um, I mean, obviously it was small, but it was, it was bigger than we thought it was gonna be. The water heater worked great. We had nice warm water. It was it was perfect um, but there are two small very small leaks that we discovered um, while doing that and that was we have a manif a PEX manifold and just the where it threads onto the manifold the PEX thread onto the manifold if that makes any sense um, there were two small leaks there so we need to figure that out um, we tried like plump just adding more plumbers tape and stuff like that um, it worked for one of the leaks but one of the leaks were still kind of iffy on and it's still leaking pretty well um, so we need to order a different adapter or something and I'm sure Charlie will figure it out um, but once that all gets situated we will be running our water pretty steadily um, so another thing with bus life you have to watch uh, your water usage you have to watch your great water tank to make sure it's not filling up too quickly you also have to you know time your showers you can't take a long shower because if you only have a hundred gallons of fresh water in your fresh water tank you know you have to conserve and make sure it's gonna last you you know a week two weeks whatever at a time also um, a strainer for your sink drain so we have a gray water tank but you know if you're washing dishes and you have all that food and stuff you don't really want that going into your gray water so you have to have a strainer 
on your sink so it catches all of that like nasty food and particles and things like that that you don't want in your gray water tank. Before you start moving the bus or traveling, you have to make sure you go down your little checklist and secure everything to where it needs to be so it won't move while you're driving down the road. So like closing up the drawers, making sure all they're all latched, uh, strapping down the TV, turning off our propane, um, unhooking if we're on shore power, all of those things. There's you know quite a few different little things that we have to make sure are all secured down before we can take off. Another thing is our trash. So we have to figure out when our trash is getting full, we have to figure out where we're gonna take it to get rid of it. Um, we do that probably every five days, once a week kind of thing. Um, but that's another thing to figure out where you can take your trash to get rid of it. And a big thing, um, I have that as number 12, is things are going to go wrong. Um, more on that later. We actually had an issue with the bus. It's a long, long story. Plenty enough for another video. So I'm going to do that on a separate video. But you have to plan and know that things are going to go wrong. Not everything is going to be perfect or go smoothly. As I listed, and I wouldn't even say they're cons or complaints, they're just more like chores or things that you would have to do that you wouldn't typically do in a regular home um, to maintain everything so it's flowing and working properly. And with things going wrong, you have to learn to just get comfortable being uncomfortable. Pretty sure the camera cut me off. What I was trying to get across there is I think you need to be resilient. Anyway, to wrap up this video, I need your help. I want to know, would you guys like me to do product reviews? Now, it would have to be products that we are using daily that are in our bus. So one being our pellet stove, uh, our couch, our TV, our um, refrigerator, our oven. What would you guys like to see? Are you interested in that? Um, if you are, leave a comment down below and let us know what products you want us to review. We would love to give you the good, the bad, the ugly, all of that so you can decide whether you want to incorporate some of these items into your own bus build. And we just want to be as helpful as possible. So if we can do that, great. I'm thinking maybe I'll upload a video once a week um, featuring a new product each week. So. Let me know what you'd like to see. So thank you so much. And if you'd love to like and subscribe our video, subscribe to our videos, then please do so. I know I'm still kind of learning and getting comfortable with the camera, but that goes along with personal growth and getting out of your comfort zone. So thanks so much for watching. We truly, truly appreciate you. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.